At the end of this program, the learners will be able to identify different types of print materials, explain the characteristics and utility of each of the print material, select and effectively use print materials most suitable for their situation. Many materials and media are used today for teaching, learning and conveying effective messages to the adult learners and students. Out of all medias, print materials occupy an important place. Print materials or medias have been one of the oldest and most popular forms of instructional devices for passing on information to the learners. By virtue of their form, they also have a very wide outreach. They are easy to absorb and grasp by the learners. Print materials embody all forms of printed text and other printed forms of visual communication. At a given point in time, print media spread information about daily events, happenings and news and can reach very large number of readers. Print materials present in a variety of form like newspapers, books, journals, magazines, brochures, banners, posters, charts, flyers, billboards. They explicitly and implicitly inform and educate people. Apart from all this, they also entertain the readers. They communicate fascinating stories and the articles in magazines or newspapers can generate a lot of interest in the minds of the public. Being inexpensive, they can target a huge population all at once. Advertisements too form an important part of print media. This module will examine the origins of print material, different types of print materials available and their effective use. Let us first examine the origins of print material. Printing text, images and patterns date back to 220 AD. Known as the woodblock printing, it originated in China and was widely used throughout East Asia until the 19th century. The woodblock printing technique, which is also called the woodcut printing, was used to print on textiles initially and later on to print paper, books as well as images. The cloth to be printed would be placed on a flat surface and printed using wood blocks. Wood block or wood cut is a relief printing technique. The protruding surfaces of the printing plate or block are inked while the recessed areas are ink free. The inked face of the matrix is brought in firm contact with the paper or the cloth. The artist while preparing the wood block carves out an image into the surface of a block of wood using gauges, leaving the printing parts level with the surface while removing the non-printing parts. Areas that the artist cuts away carry no ink, while characters or images at the surface level carry the ink to produce the print. In Mesopotamia and Egypt around 3000 BC, small stamps and cylinder seals as a precursor to woodblock printing were used. Instead of ink, small stamps and cylinder seals would be used to form impression on two-dimensional surface that was generally the wet clay. Similarly, in both China too, before the advent of woodblock printing of 220 AD, seals and stamps were used for making impressions. Though early forms of paper had existed in China since the 2nd century BC, it was Sai Lun, a Chinese official who is attributed with the invention of paper in 105 AD along with significant improvement and standardization of paper making process. Bai Sheng, a Chinese peasant, developed the world's first movable type between 1041 and 1048 AD during the Song dynasty. Bai Sheng used 
ceramic characters as Chinese were the world leaders in making porcelain. However, Bai Shang's movable types have remained obscure from the world because of the inherent nature of the Chinese language. In order to function in day-to-day -day life, a reader in Chinese language has to know at least 3000 characters. Drafting a simple sentence in Chinese language is indeed an arduous process. It was Johannes Gutenberg, a German blacksmith, goldsmith, printer and publisher who ushered in a printing revolution in 1439 in Europe. Gutenberg's mechanical movable type printing was an important invention of the second millennium which triggered off Renaissance, Reformation and the Age of Enlightenment in Europe. Gutenberg's invention laid the material basis for the modern knowledge-based economy and helped in the spread of learning to the masses. Gutenberg used metal types that were both economical and durable. From the advent of wood block printing in 200 AD to the movable types in current day and the digital printing today, printing has definitely come a long way. The print media are the fastest way to reach the public. Their primary goal and use is to disseminate information about everyday activities, events and news. They entertain the readers. Whether it's magazine or newspaper that covers all stories and articles, different genre of print materials generate a lot of interest in the minds of the public. Print material is quite inexpensive and hence advertisements are usually displayed in it. Another important use is that of advertisements as they can target a huge population at once. There is a large number of print material available and they will be examined in this module systematically one by one. First of all, we will have a look at newspaper. Newspapers are the most popular form of print media which is a printed serial publication usually issued on a daily or a weekly basis consisting of folded or unstapled sheets and contains news, articles, advertisements and different correspondence. The news and informative articles in the newspaper are divided into various segments covering a large spectrum of areas like current affairs and events, health, education, science and technology, sports, art, literature, politics, finance, natural disasters, entertainment, culture and societies, food, clothing and fashion, entertainment, amongst many others. Newspapers also include advertisements, job information, weather forecast, comics and cartoons, obituaries, notices, advice columns and even appeals. Newspapers are generally printed on relatively inexpensive, low-grade paper quality. Newspapers publish news stories, news articles and feature articles on local, national and international news. The pages are sequentially numbered in a newspaper. Along with the news, an editorial page, usually written by the resident editor, and opinion articles and columns written by the guest writers and columnists form an integral part of the newspaper. Different types of newspapers cater to varied audience needs and interests. The papers may be published in print form or may be available online. Papers are generally delivered at home or are available at newsstands and it is the most inexpensive way to reach huge mass quickly. The online newspapers also known as the e-papers are available online. Newspapers may be published on a daily or a weekly basis. Advertisers can choose and advertise in daily newspapers or even the weekly tabloids. The press advertisements are designed by advertisers and their size is decided according to the budget of the client. Next, let's look at wall newspapers. 
Wall newspapers are also a type of newspaper that are printed on one side and put up or displayed periodically at a prominent place like on the wall of a school, the community center or any recreational center or information center or even the village panchayat ghar. The wall newspapers are updated weekly or even fortnightly. Wall newspapers provide local news and updates of immediate relevance, interest and utility to the readers. For example, launching of any new program or scheme or even the new job opportunities which are available to the people. Wall newspapers highlight current activities and motivate readers for whom they are intended. They work as a reminder and provide timely and periodical information. Wall newspapers encourage three important aspects for the readers that is development, participation and communication. Let us now discuss what are newsletters. This is another form of print material. Newsletters are generally used as information sources for neighborhood, communities and groups having an interest about particular topic or event. They contain printed reports, news and information pertaining to the activities of an organization that is institutions, societies and associations or a business company sent by mail regularly to all its members, customers, employees or people. Newsletters generally contain one main topic of interest for the recipients. The electronically sent newsletters are called the e-newsletters. Mostly, the newsletters are free. Sometimes, people may have to subscribe for the same. For producing effective newsletters, first, a thorough research has to be done. Next, the journalistic style of simple writing may be followed, comprising of five W's, that is, who, what, where, when and why, and one H, that is, how. Quotes, statistics and facts may be used to make the articles interesting. Photographs, illustrations, pictures, cartoons, comics, and caricatures along with interesting headlines support the articles. Copyright issues should be avoided by citing sources. Proofreading thoroughly is very important prior to the publishing. Let's examine the uses of newsletter. Newsletters cover one main issue or topic. They are used for promotional purposes which may be political and religious campaigns or for promoting a cause. Newsletters are an important communication tool used by colleges, schools to communicate with parents and give them information about what is new in the institute. Many companies make use of newsletters as marketing strategy to provide all information to customers and even to their employees. The next print material is leaflets or flyers. Leaflets or flyers are a single sheet of printed matter that give information or advertise a good or a service. Leaflets or flyers are a single sheet of printed matter that give information or advertise a good or a service. They are relatively inexpensive, easy to read, maintain, preserve and are used even for future referencing. Leaflets or flyers are most commonly used for advertising by small organizations for targeting the market. They can be very useful and can help in generating business. However, they may not be of any use for big companies. Leaflets or flyers are usually crisp and eye-catching so that they attract people's attention. Leaflets or flyers are relatively inexpensive and can be distributed outside the schools, colleges, universities, in the exhibitions or they can be put on the walls of a community center, in a marketplace they can be distributed or outside the offices, in the neighborhood or even at signals. They are the most common form of advertisements at local events and parties. Magazines. Let's see what are magazines. 
Magazine is a periodical publication which includes articles, write-ups, advertisements covering numerous or specific area or a subject aimed at a particular kind of readership. Magazine in short is a compilation or combination of a wide variety of contents. Magazine comes from an Arabic word makajin which means a storehouse or a warehouse. This term was first used in 17th century in the title of books providing information useful to a particular group of people. A magazine may be weekly, it may be fortnightly, monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly, biannual or annual in terms of its periodicity. Magazine is meant for diverse audience or readers and has longer shelf life as compared to newspaper, leaflets or pamphlets. A magazine contains several pages of materials on the area or topic of the magazine. A magazine may pertain to a wide variety of subject or areas, for example, health education. Now, this health education may be for men, women or children or parenting or on children. It may deal with law, polity, general awareness, finance, current affairs, news and views, sports, fashion, science and technology, space, even gadgets, travel and tourism, business, to name a few areas. Advertisement in magazine are the fund providers for the magazines. Advertising in magazines costs a bit more, but it is great way to target some market segments due to its wide appeal and large outreach throughout the world. Let us now look at banners. Banner is derived from a French term banniers meaning out of which flag is made. In German it means official edict or proclamation. Banner making is an ancient art. Banners are long strip of cloth or even a flag bearing a slogan or design carried in a demonstration or in a procession or even hung over a public place. At many places, banners are made of cloth or paper and are used to show slogans, logos or some messages. Banners are also used for advertising brands in exhibitions, giving out names of the products or services that are being provided. Communication details are an important part of banners. The next print material is posters. Posters inform, educate and communicate messages. Posters are put up at a height and are made attractive so as to catch the attention of the passerby. Posters and banners are customized and include text as well as graphics that too in large size so that the message is seen from a distance. Big posters of huge proportion are called as hoardings. The primary use of posters can be seen in political campaigns, health campaigns, besides propaganda and even protests. It is a self-made form of advertising. Billboards Billboards are large and outdoor advertising and are also called as hoardings. Billboards have mostly become digital today, but they qualify under the category of print media as the advertisements are printed on the billboard. They include text and graphics mostly as a combination so as to make it more appealing. Both the elements are so combined so as to elicit attention and leave an indelible impression. Apart from digital billboards, they may be painted or mobile, may be bicycle billboards or even multipurpose billboards. Billboards usually have fixed locations and are huge in size so that they can be seen and read from a long distance. Billboards are typically found in high traffic zones where the number of passers-by is high. Billboard advertisements are the most costliest in the print media category. The price depends on the size, the location of the billboard and mostly on the duration of the advertisement. Apart from the advertisements, a lot of promotional activities and sensitizing the public is done by making use of billboards. 
even though it costs a lot it helps in targeting all the market segments next we go to a very important print material that is books books refer to specifically or primarily school textbook that helps children master the art of reading as well as writing books are these days used in higher education too books are the oldest form of print media that are used as tools of communication and passing on information and knowledge books comprise of both the written text and the visuals a book comprises of sheets of papers or parchments or even vellum or papyrus or similar material including dried leaves before the advent of paper that are fastened together on the hinge at one side or in the center the single sheet in the book is referred to as a leaf or page books give an opportunity to writers to spread their knowledge about a particular subject to the whole world books are diverse and address a wide variety of topics such as art literature science mathematics history delving both into fiction and non fiction that only inform impart knowledge educate and also entertain the readers a book is actually a collection of many printed pages which are later bound together after printing was invented books were printed giving knowledge to various sections of the society globally as technology is developing and evolving e books are now replacing the actual books brochures brochure is also known as pamphlet and is an informative booklet that contains the details of the company or organization brochures promote and introduce the companies generally brochures are for take away so as to keep the brand in the mind of the audience they are distributed in exhibitions or shops in which particular product or service of the company are provided along with the communication details brochure should contain all the required details of the product or service with terms and conditions along with the charges brochures generally consist of two or three folds of glossy colorful sheets with some nice presentation they are mostly distributed by hand or even sent by mails or you may find them at brochure racks as well brochures are now available in electronic format and called as e brochures these have an added benefit of having unlimited distribution and cost saving when they are compared to the traditional paper brochures at the end of the module let's do a little summarization of what we have learned through this module print materials have an immense instructional role for individualized group and even mass learning printed materials may be original pieces of writing or they may comprise of duplicated materials they include a wide spectrum of instructional informative and even recreational materials print materials may be scholarly scientific references teaching and instructional materials as books textbooks program textbooks laboratory manuals training manuals and even teaching aid manuals and guides these can be stored retrieved printed reprinted and reproduced as newspapers newsletters magazines brochures books etc towards the end one has to take care that any print material produced conforms to the abc of good writing that is it should possess accuracy brevity and clarity